the instructions for this problem ask you to solve by graphing. All right. So the first thing we need to do is remember how to solve an equation by graphing. So in order to do this, what you're going to do is break the equation into two pieces. I don't remember what color I used on Desmos. So I'm going to call this one blue and this one yellow. They don't quite apply to the graph yet, okay? <laughs> Alrighty. So what you do is you take each of these pieces, so each side of the equal sign, and you set it equal to y. Alright, so that blue piece turns into the linear equation, y equals negative 2x minus 4. So that's going to graph a line on my graph. Alright, this absolute value side, the yellow side, that one is going to make a V shape on my graph. Now, in this class, we taught you to solve by graphing to just pop it into Desmos, but you could graph both of these by hands, especially since now you know your transformations. All right, so if I put it in Desmos, you should get this graph. All right, so the blue one was correct. The yellow one is actually red. So I'm going to update that and call it red just so it makes sense to you as we're learning it. Don't mind my terrible coloring. You should probably be used to that from class. All right. There we go. So now that I have these two equations graphed out on Desmos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for where they intersect. Okay, these are intersecting each other right here at this point. All right. That's at the ordered pair. One, two, three. Uh, negative 2, 0. Now the thing is, is this equation doesn't have any y values in it. All right, so this y is really pretty unnecessary. The only part I actually care about is the x value. So my solution to the equation is x equals negative 2. I'm not saying it's the ordered pair, I'm saying it's that x value. Now the other thing is you want to be careful, like this could extend on and intersect with this V shape. And the only reason why I know that it doesn't is because the blue line is steeper than the red line. So these are going to slowly expand away from each other as they approach negative infinity. So the only solution here is X equals negative 2. And you need to make sure that you only use the x value from the ordered pair, not the y value. 